Hey Gemini, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your November Health, Wealth, and Abundance bonus reading. So welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. Today we're going to dive into the collective energy of Gemini and we're going to take a look at all things health, wealth, and abundance. So please do see the disclaimer in the description box below. And if you're interested in a personal reading or even entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right. So again, a friendly reminder, this is a general reading for the collective energy of Gemini. So please do take what resonates and leave the rest behind. So we're going to dive into your reading here. Let's get, thank you, Spirit. One more card for you and we will clarify as well. Okay, we have base chakra showing up for you. Base chakra. This is in the area of your health. Base chakra, root chakra as well. Uh, a blocked root chakra can manifest as physical issues in your life, such as arthritis, constipation, uh, maybe even bladder or colon pro problems. I feel like this is about finances for a lot of you as well or your basic needs being met. It's also about your well-being. So when your root chakra is open here, you feel grounded, you feel stable, secure, physically, emotionally, spiritually. You feel good on all levels. The base chakra can also uh, bring you back to childhood trauma that you're working through, that you're healing, that you're releasing at this time. So again, if this is an area that you have been focusing on healing for a while, maybe you even have uh, tension in those that hip area as well as what I'm getting or even lower back for some of you. Uh, this can also... Uh, a lot of you, it is finances, okay? It's that stability. Where do I go from here? <clears throat> We're going to dive in and get uh, more information here. But again, if there is any uh, medical energy that you seem to be off, please do seek professional guidance. We have the uncharted sea here, card 46. And this is about moving out of your comfort zone. Again, this is about limiting beliefs as well. So I feel like a lot of you regarding stability, some of you may be going through some major changes, major transformations, doing something completely new, whether you are moving, a lot of you may be moving is what I'm sensing here. Uh, maybe you're moving in with somebody or moving out of your home somewhere else. Uh, this can be a move within a job or a career. Some of you are uh, starting maybe even a new relationship or getting out of an old relationship, but the root chakra is all about that new beginning here. Uh, I feel like you're wanting to go towards a new beginning, but it does seem scary. So it's you stepping out of your comfort zone and uh, taking a little bit of a risk. And I know that not everybody likes that energy because change can be scary and a lot of people would rather just stay in their comfort zone but it's okay to work through uh, trauma or work through emotions that you're unfamiliar with because with the base chakra what this is also telling me is some of you may be doing something you've never done before so for example Maybe they're, maybe you're moving across country. Maybe you're moving across, uh, you know, the States or wherever you're located here. Uh, for a lot of you, this can even be you seeking out a therapist or a counselor. Maybe you've never done that before. I feel like there's um, new energy coming in here. And we have the page of wands. Yeah, you're researching. You want to learn more about something. Uh, the page can bring news of, you know, possibly a child or a minor or somebody younger than you. Uh, but for a lot of you, the page of wands is trying to find that motivation to get something going, to get something off the ground, to start something new. It's to switch that mindset if you are in a pessimistic mindset about your health and see something clearly. A lot of you, I feel like you could be focusing on even your weight, especially if you carry a lot of weight in that lower area here, uh, or maybe even you know in the hips, maybe you feel like you eat a donut and your hips just get huge. Uh, but I'm getting the energy of wanting to do something you've never done before. And uh, you can see here that he he, he wants to go or she wants to go on an adventure wants to test out the water someplace new and there's a 
a two a toucan i think a toucan uh, a bird here so it's almost like she's going through the rainforest or she's going through some sort of a journey at this time and i feel like this is you you want to go someplace a lot of you may be even getting in shape for a vacation uh to the sea maybe you're getting a beach body or wanting to practice getting a beach body here but the page of wands energy is saying that instead of feeling pessimistic about a health issue or a health concern uh, whether again it's financial it can be relationship so health doesn't always have to be physical it doesn't always have to be oh my back I need to see a chiropractor uh, you know it can be emotional health it can be uh, you know, physical, it can be spiritual, it can be mental. So a lot of you are seeking out new ways to heal an area of your life. Uh, because again, we have the uncharted sea coming out for you. So let's take a look and get a few more regarding your health. Yeah, there's the four of swords. That is the card of healing. Uh, four of swords says that there is a time of rest, but you're rejuvenating. You're coming out of this. If you are an overworker, an overthinking, don't ignore the signs of rest because that's very important that you do take time out. For a lot of you, you may be in sort of a lazy energy or a lazy mode. And this may say, hey, uh, you need to focus on getting your energy levels right. Whether maybe it's you seeking a professional. Maybe you need to get your thyroid checked here. Uh, but it's about resting and healing, especially if you are the person that has that hummingbird energy where you're always zipping from one area or one uh, subject to another or <clears throat> duty one to another here. This is all about rest, deep healing needed. I feel like you are bringing more stability into your life here, but I feel like it's been chaotic here for a while. And a lot of you could go for a good massage or even a good uh, energy healing session let's take a look all right queen of wands ending off uh this is your outcome card for your health so beautiful this is about you finally coming to that place where uh you know your worth okay this is about you possibly even changing your look here regarding a health uh so again if you are going on some sort of a diet uh that's what i'm getting for a lot of you is you're changing the way that you look on the outside as well because you've started healing on the inside and the Queen of Wands is independent and she's artsy and creative and she usually goes for what she wants. So make sure that if you have insecurities here regarding any area of your life, whether it is finances, relationships, love, uh, you know, passion, whatever this is for you, this is about you rebuilding uh, the security in a situation that, that seems uh, that you feel insecure in. I feel like you're definitely going to heal. You can see the sun card or not so much the card, but the sun energy emanating from this beautiful flower. And that is about uh, good health, especially if you've been feeling under the weather in the recent weeks uh, prior. So again, we're doing a November reading. You'll start to feel more like yourself if you have been feeling a lack of energy. Uh, just maybe you've been overworking your energy, which is causing you to rest. There will be a little bit of a leg time so step into that unknown territory here gemini because you're definitely going to feel better about yourself let's take a look at your wealth oh wow we have earth magic earth magic is about being grounded trusting in the seeds that you have planted beautiful so in the wealth area <clears throat> excuse me in the wealth area for a lot of you gemini uh you've planted the seeds to something whether it's a new business opportunity uh perhaps this is you becoming an entrepreneur because that is that queen of wands. She can open her own business, uh, but she's a social butterfly. And I feel like that is what is happening for you. You may be coming into contact with quite a few people regarding your wealth. Uh, perhaps you... They're showing me uh, a communicator. So maybe you are a coach and you're communicating with others. Uh, perhaps you are in some sort of line of work where you do have to communicate often here. But I feel like what they're telling me is roots of abundance, roots of abundance. So even though we have earth magic, I feel like your feet are firmly planted here in your wealth. So you're going all in. So that is the energy up here regarding health. Make sure you are taking that time out because you're fully invested in something is what I'm seeing here regarding your wealth. Let's take a look. <clears throat> Two of Cups. Two of Cups is a very important relationship here. 
Two of Cups showing up says uh, this is you committing. There's high level commitment. So you may be really focusing on clientele at this time, uh, really one on one relationships. And that's kind of the energy I'm getting. So again, whether you're a coach, you may be speaking one on one with others. Maybe, you know, if you're a massage therapist, you work one on one. So what I'm getting for a lot of you in the category of your wealth, you may be working one on one with others. And that is actually building important uh, relationships. So you are seeking out, maybe you are in a business where you talk to a lot of different people, maybe you put your voice out there on social media, or you uh, work in an office setting. What this is saying here is that you are building important relationships one person at a time. So you are gaining more clients through word of mouth is what I'm hearing here, uh, but also building these important bonds. So when you do talk to somebody, I feel like you're gaining trust in these important relationships that are bringing more wealth to you here, Gemini. Let's take a look and get a few more. We have temperance. So you have been waiting a long time for something to happen. You've been waiting a long time uh, to finally build your wealth. And I feel like it's happening in the month of November because you are a busybody. Uh, or if you felt like there hasn't been a lot of action or a lot of energy, I feel like it's coming in now because I feel like your, your feet are firmly planted to an area and you're rebuilding some sort of stability here, especially with this base chakra. This is all about stability, stability in your finances, stability in your life. Uh, and I, I'm getting that you're going through that with the temperance. You have been waiting and now you're going to see change. We have the Hierophant showing up. This is you committing. This is the card of commitment here. Uh, the Hierophant here is also about uh, teaching. It's about wisdom. So you may be even uh, divinely, it's about divine guidance. Perhaps you are teaching others about some sort of spiritual studies, or maybe you're learning the spiritual lessons at this time here. But what I'm really getting from this is you're committing to your money. You're committing to your finances. But most importantly here, you're committing to other people, which is helping bring in more wealth. Whatever wealth looks like to you here, you're bringing more of it in. Let's take a look and get the final outcome. Okay, you may be doing this alone. Uh, and that's kind of the energy I'm getting here. You may be uh, tackling something either on the side where you're building by yourself. Uh, for a lot of you, this could be you breaking free, going on a solo adventure. Again, even if you work for other people. Gemini, uh, this is about you taking that, that leap of faith, doing something extravagant for yourself that's going to increase and bring in a lot more money. That's what I'm sensing for you. So you may be working on a solo venture. Uh, again, let's say you work in a law office with lawyers and uh, you have to split some sort of um, cost. I'm not quite sure how that works, but let's say you're in the office and you just have to split it, but you have everything you need where you could go off on your own in that law office because, you know, you're a lawyer, right? That's kind of the energy I'm getting here is you could be doing things on your own or perhaps you work in a law office or you could work for a company where you're still doing things from the side that you would be doing for clients within that business, if that makes sense. So there are other things that you can be doing on your own, uh, maybe selling items as well, or maybe building items, but you're definitely uh, bringing more finances into your life or more wealth into your life during November. All right, Gemini, let's take a look at, they're also telling me, um, you could be getting a steady stream of income. Maybe this is some sort of insurance or some sort of VA, a pension or medical. Uh, I feel like there's something coming in for you based on just you. So for example, not everybody gets this, but you earned it because of something. Because of, you know, could be like workman's comp. It can be a medical insurance claim, something like that. I don't want to say earned it, but you've worked for it or something happened where you are the one that's getting it, not everybody else. So please take that into consideration. And lastly, we have abundance showing up for you. We have close encounters. I love this because it talks about vulnerability and it talks about strength, but it talks about healthy boundaries. So in the category of abundance, very important. What they're actually telling me is they're showing me yes and they're showing me no. But I feel like the yes box is checked. So what this could mean here is you are saying yes to a lot of opportunities for abundance at this time, which is fantastic. But remember to take time and say yes to yourself, okay? So a lot of you, uh, I feel like 
you're growing in this situation here, but it's about setting healthy boundaries for yourself so you don't get too drained uh, and setting healthy boundaries for other. For example, uh, let's say you wrote in the calendar, I'm going to take Saturday off. I'm going to spend time with my family. And then you get a contact calling you saying, hey, Gemini, can you work for me or can I see you? Uh, and you're thinking, well, I don't want to miss out on this abundance. I'm going to say yes. But, you know, it's talking about setting healthy boundaries with others as well as your yourself so close encounter is very important energy here but also being using your vulnerability as strength so for some of you this is if you're feeling vulnerable for whatever reason let's say you're not able to meet people and you have to say no um, be vulnerable Just tell people about what it is that you do or what you need or maybe even uh, if you are confined to an area maybe talking about it over social media or connecting with clients or other people at this time. What does abundance look like to you, Gemini? I feel like there is a lot of abundance coming your way, but making sure you rest as well is very important. Let's clarify the category of abundance. What do we have for Gemini abundance? Okay, we have, ooh, unexpected resources coming in here. These are gifts from the universe, absolutely. The Six of Pentacles is an unexpected resource of some sort of material prosperity. It may be, uh, it can be even two-way abundance, financial assistance, charity, generosity. It's about that equal give and take. So I feel like the universe will provide. So for a lot of you, again, if there's some sort of back pay that you've been waiting on or some sort of claim or insurance here, I feel like you will be rewarded. You will be compensated. Um, the universe is bringing more abundance. It's almost like you've done the work. Uh, you've earned it. There's something that may have happened uh, that you are getting this gift that maybe you've been waiting on for a little while. Again, they are telling me some sort of VA or some sort of back pay or some sort of loan. Uh, not so much loan because you have to pay those back, but I feel like this is something being handed to you that you don't have to give back. So let's take a look here. Justice, there is that energy I'm feeling. And we we're talking about lawyer earlier. Maybe some of you are dealing with legalities. Uh, perhaps you are dealing with uh, an unfair situation. But I feel like you are receiving good karma, and that's that's what this is. Good karma is being rewarded, okay? Especially if it comes to anything that was unfair, unjust, something that happened to you. Uh, I feel like good karma is on its way regarding abundance. And uh, that energy, especially, you know, with the justice card, is a big yes. So if you've been wanting to bring more abundance in whatever area of your life, that's the universe saying, yep, we got your back, Gemini. Oh my word, I love it. As your outcome for abundance, you have the Nine of Pentacles. This is one of my favorite cards in the whole deck because it talks about spiritual and material satisfaction. You're not only feeling good about your inner self, but it's reflecting in your outer life here. So yes, you've waited a while for this to come in. There's been some close, they're also telling me close encounters here may mean <clears throat> that you've had some, uh, how do I put this here? You've had some close calls. So I don't know if this is maybe you were in an accident or uh, perhaps there were really some close calls where you could have hit the big time here. But I feel like there was some close, but now you're getting there. Now you're finally seeing uh, the benefits of this close encounter or something that may have happened that shifted the way that you receive abundance. The Nine of Pentacles showing up is about reaching goals. It's a successful harvest. She's celebrating her own riches. You can see the beautiful fruit. She's celebrating and enjoying the good things around her that she's built on herself here from what she's been through, what she's learned, from what she's gone through. This is about self-sufficiency, self-control, reliable resources as well. Uh, it's about independence and standing on your own two feet. Uh, so the Nine of Pentacles is definitely saying that uh, the rewards will uh, will come your way, especially if there's been a situation that was unfair to you. There are beautiful rewards uh, that's going to make you feel very good because the base chakra, again, is all about that stability. So if you've had that lower back pain or been worrying about finances, I feel like compensation is coming your way here, Gemini. So beautiful energy. Wow. All right, let's take a look at the Soul Truth uh, deck here. I recommend that you either pause the video or maybe journal this question and really think about it because it gets that soul 
level. It gets down to that soul level of really thinking and transforms and shifts the energy entirely. I love these cards for that reason. So let's take a look here and see what is, whoa, okay, what is in Gemini's highest good? All right, we're just going to pull. Thank you, spirit. <clears throat> Am I ready to let go of this buried shame? The feeling of shame is the lowest energy frequency there is. When you live in shame, you live in darkness. What part of you is ready to stand in the light? Is there any shame from a past experience that is ready to be healed? Today's soul action, Gemini, is this. Heal the shame by giving it a name. Bring it to the light and let it be seen, heard, and healed. It's revival season. Replace the shame with your soul's truth. Fill in the blank. My soul's truth is blank. Very powerful. So if you feel any sort of shame for anything, maybe this is even subconscious level here. Maybe it's shame for any issues in childhood. Maybe you've done things that you are not proud of. Uh, whatever this is for you, you're healing. So I love it. You're letting go of any buried shame. Uh, maybe you feel again that you're not good enough uh, or regarding money. Or you feel shame for receiving some sort of finances or some sort of assistance here. Let that go because the universe wants to provide. The universe is here to support you, Gemini. Now let's take a look here and get a message from Spirit before we wrap up your reading. Health, wealth, and abundance. One of my favorite readings to do for you guys because I feel like there's so much information packed into uh, a small reading. Beautiful, intuitive nudges. It says, intuition is the language of the soul. We are all born aware with a profound sense of inner knowing. Intuition is one of the greatest gifts we possess, which keeps us connected to our higher selves, the universe, and to our divine spirit. Trust in your intuition at this time. Trust that all will be well. I love it. All right, Gemini, that is what I have for you. I hope it resonates. If so, please do hit that thumbs up button. It certainly helps get the divine messages out there that many so need to hear at this time. Again, like button if that resonates with you. Comment, share, and subscribe. And I look forward to tuning into your energy next week. Lots of love, Gemini.